This is Dr. Phil Chavez. The Basilica of Mary Major, right now where I'm standing in front of, Maria Maggiore, is, as its name indicates, the greatest church dedicated to Mary, the Mother of God. Now its history is fascinating. On August 5th, 350, Pope Liberius had a dream to build a church exactly where it would snow on that day. And it did. On the Escaline Hill, east of Rome's center, was covered a blanket of snow where the pontiff himself etched out his own new basilica. Now, many years later, under Pope Sixtus, 432, the structure was completed and dedicated in honor of the recent declaration of the Council of Ephesus one year earlier in 431, that Mary was to be acknowledged the Theotokos, that is the God-bearer. When Mary gave birth to the Word made flesh, she was acknowledged to have delivered one divine person in two natures. Accordingly, Mary is rightfully called the Mother of God. Now at the dedication, a shower of right white rose petals miraculously fell upon the faithful assembled inside. Now among the marvels actually contained within this basilica include a miraculous icon of Blessed Virgin known as Salus Populi Romani, the protectors of the Roman people, painted by St. Luke. At the main altar lie the remains of St. Matthias, as it were the 13th apostle, chosen um, after the death of Judas to fill that vacancy. And below him, in that altar, underneath, are the relics of large wood fragments attributed to be the first crib, part of the first crib of the Savior. But perhaps of greatest historical significance was the Battle of Lepanto, for which this church brought about the close of the Crusades in the 16th century. Now, this battle was a turning point in the history of Christianity. Almost from the beginning of Islam, wars prolifer proliferated between Christians and Muslims. And they, they, they got to the point where they just started dominating Europe and the Mediterranean seas. But in the last year, the pontificate of Pius V, he rallied the nations of Europe to join in what he called a holy league to defeat the Muslims. At dawn, October 7, 1571, at the entrance of the Gulf of Patras, the Christian and Muslim feats finally came face to face at this Battle of Lepanto. The wind and other military factors favored the Muslims. However, at the exact time, as Vatican archives revealed, Pope Pius V and numerous faithful were praying the rosary in this Basilica of Mary Major. From dawn until dusk, that resuscitation continued. At day's close, the Muslims were defeated and at least 200 of the 270 Muslim ships were destroyed or captured. The Turks lost 30,000 men, while Christian casualties numbered between four and 5,000. Here in this basilica, the Rosary won a great military victory. God be with you.